Students, we are going to solve today 2013 topo map. The first question in the map is give the six figure grid reference of triangulated height 217. Now you saw the triangulated station 217. Now we have to look for the four figure grid reference that is your eastings and your northings. Your eastings are 94 and your northings are 79. So here the four figure grid reference is 9479. Now for the six figure grid reference we have to find out the third and the sixth figure. Now when you look at the triangulated station it is on the line the symbol is on the line that's why the third figure is zero. Now for the sixth figure you have to take your scale from the triangulated station till the bottom of 7, 9 you have to measure. Now when you measure you will get 6 millimeters and that you will need to divide by 2. When you divide it by 2 your answer will be 3. Now we go to the next question that is again the six figure grid reference of a lined well near Chekla. So let us look for Chekla first. Now you look for your four figure grid reference for Chekla. The eastings are 92 and the northings are 81. So your four figure grid reference for lined well near Chekla is 9281. Now you put a dash for your third figure and the sixth figure. Now to measure the third figure put your scale on eastings 92. Now when you place your scale on 92 you take your scale and measure up to the lined well your answer is 10 millimeters. Now this 10 millimeters is divided by 2 because the scale given on the map is 2 centimeter to 1 kilometer. So we divide the 10 millimeters by 2 and your third grid number or the third figure is 5. Then the sixth figure. Now for this again you take your scale, you take it from the lined perennial well up to the bottom that is the grid square 8 1. So from the well till the bottom 8 1 you measure. Now when you measure this you get the answer 8 millimeters. Again this 8 millimeter needs to be divided by 2. Now when you divide it by 2 you get the answer 4. This 4 is your answer for the sixth figure. The entire answer for a lined well near Chekla is 925814. The next question is Name the left bank tributary of the main river and state the direction in which this left bank tributary is flowing. Now first you have to see which is your left bank tributary. The left bank tributary is Balaram Nadi. Now when you look at Balaram Nadi you can see an arrow in the bed of the river. It is flowing towards northwest. So the answer is Northwest. So the left bank tributary of the main river is Balaram Nadi and it is flowing towards the northwest because it is joining the main river towards the northwest. The next question mention a special feature associated with streams in grid square 9879 and name the types of drainage pattern found in grid square 9382. Now here we there are two questions. So first let us look at the special feature associated in the grid square 9879. You can see that the answer is broken ground. Now for the next question that is the sub question of the same question the drainage pattern in grid square 9382 you look into the confined grid 9382. Over here you can see small streams are joining the main stream. So the drainage pattern is trellised. The next question is give the four figure grid references of the following. 
The first one is open scrub. Over here, you have to look out for the word open scrub in the map. Now, you can see that open scrub is found in 00, zero that is your Eastings, your vertical line, that is 00, zero, and then you look out for your northings, that is 76. So, the answer is 0076. We have to always see that we take a grid one before the symbol. So, that's the reason why we have taken 0076. Now, again the next question is, give the four figure grid reference of Bantawada. Bantawada is a settlement over here. So, look out for Bantawada. Now, you first find out the Eastings of Bantawada. That is, you got the answer 99. Now you look for the northings, that is 7, 8. So here you can see that we have taken 9, 9, 7, 8 as your four figure grid reference. We have always taken one before the symbol, first the eastings and then the northings. The next question is name two relief features that can be seen in grid square 9, 7, 8, 2 and 9, 5, 7, 4. I know relief features is a big concern for all of you. Relief features are your contour features. It's a little difficult, but not very difficult. You can do it. Now, when you look into the grid square 9782, you can see over here that the contours on one side, they are together and on the other side, they are a little far apart. Now, when the contours show like this, on one side it is close together and the other side it is far apart, it is an escarpment. The next grid is your 9574. In this, when you look at the contour feature, they are elongated. Now this shows that they are the summits of the mountains and it is a mountain range and therefore it is a ridge. You can see three small peaks over there and that's the reason why it is a ridge. The next question. Why do you find limited cultivation in the map extract? Now, when you look at the map, you can see there is a lot of barren land. Now, how do you find out barren land? The white color indicates barren land or the whitewash. The next question, what is the compass direction of Antroli and Chekla from Sangla? Now, here, students, the four figure grid reference is given of Antroli and Chekla. So it becomes easier for you to locate Antroli and Chekla. Now students, read the question properly. What is the compass direction of Antroli and Chekla from Sangla? So here you have to find out first Sangla. Now once you know your Sangla, then the first question you look at Antroli from Sangla. Now, if you look at the direction, it is northeast. The second question is Chekla from Sangla. Now, from Sangla, Chekla, if you look at the direction, it is north. The next question, what type of rainfall is experienced in the region shown in the map extract? Here, you have to look at the entire map first. Now, when you have seen the map, you can see that there are many sand dunes in the southern part. Only in the northern part, there is more of yellow. So, more part has sand dunes. So, here the rainfall is scanty rainfall in the southern part and in the northern part you can say seasonal rainfall. The sub question of this question is justify your answer giving one reason. Now students when you have written scanty rainfall you give your answer as sand dunes because you can see sand dunes here. If you have written the answer seasonal rainfall looking at the northern part then your evidence is dry streams. 
Students, the next question is calculate the distance in kilometers along the car track between Chitrasani and Pirojpura. Now over here, the six figure grid reference has been given to you already. Now the word along the car track is very important. Now you can see that the car track is not a straight line. So for that you require a string or a thread which will be given to you during your exams. You take your string and you measure from the exact six figure location of Chitrasani and Pirojpura. Now after taking the measurement you mark it with a ballpoint the end point and then take a scale and measure from zero till whatever millimeters you get. Over here we have got 5.4 millimeters. Now this 5.4 we need to divide by 2 because the scale given on the map is 2 centimeter to 1 kilometer. Now when you divide 5.4 divide by 2 you get your answer 2.7 kilometers. The next question is what is the geographical name that you would give to the general pattern of settlements in the region shown on the map? Over here you have seen that all the settlements are nucleated on the map. The sub question of question number J is name one region on the map unsuitable for the cultivation of crops. So now which region? Now students you have to understand which region is unsuitable for the cultivation of crops. That is your southern region. If you look at the map in the southern region you have white barren land. So that region is not suitable for the cultivation of crops. And when you look at the map in the northern region you have your Balaram Nadi flowing which is a dry stream and you have some broken grounds over there. But when you compare it with the southern part the southern region is more white compared to the northern region. So you have your answer over here is southern region. This is the end of 2013 map.